911, is this a medical emergency? October 5th, 2015, a woman, home alone, hides in her bedroom. I can see the shadow walking from my backyard. Oh my God. Okay, I have your, just stay on the phone with me. Soon, two Midwest City police officers are dispatched to Pepper Tree Lane. Our police said they can see a shadow in the backyard. You're inside the car of Sergeant Scott Primo, dash cam rolling on his way to the home where two suspects were spotted in the backyard. And the chase was on. Officer James Hill tailed the two men on foot for four blocks. Primo, not far behind in his patrol car, till all parties met on the campus of Rose State College. What's the square court? Stop fire. Officer Hill fired 10 rounds. Charles Pettit Jr. hit six times, lay on the ground. But at his side, a dropped, stolen, loaded Smith & Wesson handgun. Pettit died 18 days later. And Mr. Pettit, at any time during this pursuit, could have stopped, could have surrendered, could have thrown his gun away, but he chose to run. An investigation by Midwest City showed that Hill had no choice but to defend himself with deadly force. Chief Brandon Klaib says this video, frame by frame, proves Pettit was ready to kill an officer. We have a right to protect ourselves and protect society, and that's all Officer Hill was doing. District Attorney David Prater cleared Officer Hill a week later, calling the shooting a clear-cut case of justified homicide. Pettit jumped out from behind the dumpster with his right arm extended with a, a, a loaded, chamber-loaded pistol in it, pointed directly at the officer's head. He would have been killed. He would have been killed. We now know Officer Hill is a retired Marine. He served in Afghanistan, and he's now been labeled a terrorist online by the suspect's father, Charles Pettit Sr. And this is not uncharted territory for the Pettits. A second son, Lincoln Price, was killed by Oklahoma City Police a year earlier after shooting and injuring two officers off Northwest 12th and Rockwell. The family is angry about both police shootings. They are calling for an independent OSBI investigation. If someone wants to call for an independent investigation, bring it. In a matter of two seconds, countless lives were forever changed, but both the department and the county are standing by their officer, stating that the facts and these frames speak for themselves.